guys. So for my third vlog, my this one I did cultural, the cultural vlog. Um, I went to an event called Arabian Cultural Night. It was in McDonald. It was Thursday at 6.30 to 9. And it was a really cool event. I really liked it. It really opened my eyes about the Arabian culture because, to be honest, I know nothing about it. Like, I've seen Aladdin, but I mean, that's probably about it. Um, so, to begin with, we got to McDonald, walked in, and first thing there is table set up, like, just with information. Um, I got this cool bracelet. It says Lebanon, and it has the flag on it. So the first part I'm going to show you is pictures of some of the tables that were set up, the ones that I talked about a second ago. So this first table, as you can see, shows some pictures and some of the things that the Arabian culture wears, like this nice silk um, shirt and jacket. This wall shows some of the pictures, like the buildings, monuments, in um, Arabia and this last one is a board game you uh, one person flicks one of the circular discs and hits the other ones and tries to knock them into one of the four corner holes okay so after those tables we got inside we sat down and got comfortable then um, we actually did some trivia questions like the game on how to be a million millionaire some I think there was two people that they chose from the audience that went up played and they got a little prize if they did good um and I actually learned a lot from that I wrote down some of the questions and answers one thing I remember is that I didn't know there was like the Arabian culture I didn't know it was in Africa I just thought it was like in India and like all like near that I didn't know it was in another continent um so I learned well the oldest university like in the world is in Morocco there's uh one of the questions was what sort of calendar commonly used in the Arab countries and it's called the lunar calendar actually something else I learned is that there's 22 Arab countries. I did not know that. I didn't know there was, I thought there was one country and that's where most of them lived and then they could like move to other countries, but I didn't know it was 22, 22 countries. Like that's a ton. A cool fact that I thought was, um, what Arab country was the first to achieve democracy and it was Lebanon. That's something I guess the U.S. can relate to because we're a democ democracy, so... So after those, there was more questions, but I only wrote a couple of them down, like some of my favorites. Um, he, they brought out the Arabian food, and we all got up, and it was like a little buffet, so we could try a bunch of different foods, and those were interesting. I'll show you some pictures about them right now. So this first drink we tried, um... It was this white drink, so kind of like milk. Well, that's what I thought it would be. It's called Rosada, but I would say it's like milk, but it's sweeter. It has like a really sweet, sugary taste to it, and I think I could like it, but I think I'm just used to milk and expected it to just be milk, so it kind of was like, ooh, to me. So the next thing I tried was the food that's on the bottom. It is called Tofei Salad. It's actually, that was probably my favorite. It's a bunch of veggies mixed together, and they're pretty sweet. That's what, so I really like that. The second food I tried is the top left corner. It's called tabbouleh salad. And to me, it was not my favorite at all. It kind of tastes, I'm not sure what was in it. It tasted like, kind of like leaves or grass to me. I don't know, it just, I'm a picky eater too. And I'm not really into all, like, the seasonings and all these flavors. I'm more of, like, I like cheeseburger, french fries, mozzarella sticks, kind of that. So maybe that's another reason why I didn't like it. And the next thing on that plate was, um, 
in the top right corner. It's called tamale rice pilaf. I think that's like pilaf. Um, it's kind of like fried. I well, I thought it would be like fried rice, but so it's rice and it's kind of. I don't know if mushy is not is a good word for it, but that's how I would describe it. And it has a lot of seasonings, flavors, and again, because I'm not into all those seasonings and flavors, it wasn't my favorite thing. So on this plate, on the left side, is called kabsa. It's basically um, chicken fried rice, except, again, different seasonings and... Um, flavors and I really like this one too because I the chicken was good the seasonings weren't as strong so I really liked it um, so then on the right side of the plate is they're called vegetarian samosa and they're ba they're the same thing but made a different way and they have like a yogurt dipping sauce on the very right um, those to me I'm not I don't know what was in them, but they were not good at all. My two friends that I brought with me loved them. They were, that was their favorite part, but it was not good at all um, for me. And this last thing is a dessert. It's called Luquema, Luquemat. Um, it's basically like a dough ball, and it has like glaze and sugar on it, and I really like that. Okay, so after we ate the food, the next, and it was the final thing of the event, was it was America's Got Talent, or Arabian's Got Talent, because I guess they had that show there. Um, so what I saw, there was three people who went, well, that were mo the most impressive to me. The first one was this dance group. I'm going to show video clips after I'm done talking. Um, so it was this dance group. Then these two guys went, one played the Yod, the Yod, I think that's how you say it. It's like kind of like a guitar, but shaped completely differently and makes like a different sound a little bit. Then the other guy played the violin and it's pretty cool. Um, I don't remember where one, the guy who was playing the Yod is from, but the other guy's from Egypt. So that's really interesting. And then the last group that I saw was this girl group and they did a dance. I'm not, I forgot what it's called, but it's a common dance that they do at parties and um, for fun. So here are the video clips and I hope you enjoy them. <laughs> Arabian cultural night. It was a really good experience to me and it really made me realize that I'm kind of in the, my own little American bubble. I don't really try other foods. I don't really travel. I don't go anywhere and this has really encouraged me like I want to start trying new foods like I don't know like Indian food. I guess that's close to Arabian food, but there's still a difference. Like, see, I don't even know. Like, there's so many things I have to learn about other cultures and other communities that I really, really want to learn. So I think I really like that he had us go to an event that was different than how you are. So you really can see how other people are. And there, to me, there are a lot of things I still have to learn about the world. So... This was a good assignment.